Hey, it's Prerak and today we are going to transform the interior of this car so it goes from looking like this to this and from this to this In order to convert the interior of this car, we first need to take apart all the trim panels that we wish to get painted black. So let's begin by first removing the seats, then we can remove the center console area and then we can remove all the trims that surround the interior. And just like that, the passenger seat can be removed as well. I'm going to be removing the entire interior of my car because not only do I wish to get the carpet dyed black but I also wish to get this headliner redone that too in black because look at it, it's sagging In order to lift up the carpet I need to remove the center console entirely and then these side trim pieces and then the rear seat as well So let's begin by removing the center console To remove the center console there are just a few torque screws here and there that you need to undo Along with these two side trim pieces, after which the center console can just be lifted out of the way. I then continue to strip the interior by taking the side trim pieces out one by one, making sure to place the locks back in so I don't lose them and they are all put back together. The entire purpose of doing such a job by myself is to make sure it gets opened and put back together like it was from factory. And the fact that I enjoy working on cars is just a bonus. With all the trims removed, I can take the headliner out of the car as well. I could have used another hand here, but I managed in the end. At last, I lift the carpet up as well. And this is what a gutted interior looks like. So it took a really long time but the entire interior is out in front of you. For the carpet, I will try to get it dyed black because if I spray paint it black the chances are that the fabric will become really sticky or it will become really rough and it's soft right now as you can see. It has a really soft texture so spray painting it is not the correct way to go about it. So I'll try to get it dyed and for the headliner we will get it redone by Car Life Customs. I'll try to get the same texture fabric on it and in the color black obviously. And this, including the rear seats, will go to Car Life Customs. And all of these trim pieces right here will get painted black with 2K quality paint. I'm heading over to Car Surgeons right now to hand over all of these trim pieces so they can start painting them. And for the seat belts, I'm going to try to re-spool them with the black seat belt. All the Polos and Ventos came with black seat belts, so it's going to be easy to find their black belts and just re-spool these. I then head to Car Life to hand over the door cards, the headliner and the rear seats. For the door cards, I went with these L and K door cards, which were already black, but their top trim areas were badly damaged. So the game plan was to remove the top pieces out of my stock door cards and then replace them with the ones on the L and K door cards by cutting the plastic welds and plastic welding them back in place. While I wait for the trim pieces to get painted and upholstery to be done, I have another project I can take on. I also wish to upgrade the cabin light for the LoRa. This is a Passat B5 cabin light. It has backlit buttons, 4 LEDs or 4 bulbs in, in which you can install LEDs and it has ambient lighting options as well. But the problem is that these are red backlit buttons and red ambient lighting as well. So for the LoRa, the backlighting should be green and the ambient lighting should be white as Skoda offers white ambient lighting for their cars. So I'll be taking this apart entirely, painting this black. Once the buttons are painted black, they'll need to be laser etched to bring back this translucent factor in them because these are backlit buttons as I just told you. Let's take it apart entirely, take a sketch of the of each of the markings on here so that we can get it laser etched later on. I have it all taken apart here, as you can see. These buttons 
and this trim right here are the pieces that need to be painted black and then we need to get this laser edged because as you can see for the backlight to work a small part of it is see-through and for the motherboard this right here is the entire circuitry all of these lights right here are red so we'll get these replaced by green LEDs over here one two three and four and these two will be changed to white I sketched the symbols by tracing their photos. To replace the lights inside the board, I got these green LEDs of the correct size. The white ones I couldn't find of the correct size, so I have a incorrect size here. These are a little big. I just got them as backup. And I think the ones inside this old RC car of mine are white inside the headlight. So I'll remove them, put them in the emit light and check if they are white. Hopefully they are. So I start by removing the red LEDs and one by one installing the green ones back in, making sure to get the polarity right as these are LEDs. Luckily the lights from the RC car were of the correct size and white in color. So I replaced them too in place of the ambient light. I then sanded and wet sanded the buttons to strip them of all the paint and have a smooth finish. After painting them all black, I headed to Engraver Pro in Chandigarh to get the symbols laser etched. They understood the assignment right away and got to work. Before I knew it, they were done etching it. Each button had to be aligned correctly, so they were very careful while aligning it. And they did a flawless job. This is what the LEDs look like under the cabin light and this is what it all looks like being put together. I couldn't wait to put it on the car, it turned out so much better than I expected it to. And then the next day all the trim pieces had come back from being painted and even the headliner was ready. And it was looking so good, they did such a clean job on it. I then got to work on putting the headliner in place. But the GoPro decided to do this. Anyway, I continued to hang on the headliner in the car. And here again I could have used an extra hand. But I managed. I wore gloves to avoid any speck of dirt from my hands on the headliner. And it was up. For the carpet, I got a carpet out of a Mark V Jetta, which fit the Laura perfectly after some minor cuts here and there. But the overall size was exactly the same. I had a failed attempt of painting the stock carpet with some fabric paint. And no dyer was ready to dye it either because the material is polyester and dyeing it would just ruin it. It took a lot of paint and the results were still very poor. Anyway, some trim pieces needed some final touching, so I hit them with a can of spray paint and painted the rear view mirror as well by first carefully masking it. And this is what it looked like after getting painted. With all the trim pieces ready, I started to put the interior back in the car piece by piece making sure to get all the locks and screws in place exactly how they were removed. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle was tackled, which were the door cards. I got a very subtle ambient light installed in them by CarLife. These are Cardi K4 lights. I first tested them quickly to check if they all work properly. I gave each light power from each door module.
and there is an extra control box which was powered straight from the fuse box. After testing them all out, I got to work on putting the door cards back up. I first wired the extra mid-bay speaker these door cards have, put new locks in the door card and locked it in place properly, and then put back all the screws of the door card. And then the door exit light. So this is what the interior of the car looks like finally after being converted to black. And in my opinion, it just looks way better than it did when it was beige. As you can see, all the trim panels on the sides and on the interior have been painted to black. For the front seats, I have installed Passat B7 seats. These are heated, ventilated and they have a massage function. As you can see, this right here is the button for massage. This is the button for ventilation of the seat. It has three levels, as you can see. And it's a really comfortable seat. Uh, the Laura seat was really dirty and it could not be cleaned anymore and I anyway want to upgrade to electric seats. Not only is the driver seat electric but the passenger seat as well. You'll watch a separate video on these seats so we'll not focus much on that but you can notice the rest of the interior, even this panel, the dashboard, all of it has been converted to black and these door cards. These door cards were originally uh, black, these I've got I got these out of a Laura LNK, so the upgrade is that these get a mid-bay speaker. You can read the sound system that it says. The Laura LNK used to come with an inbuilt amplifier. I have purchased that as well, but we will be wiring that later on. Right now this mid-bass is just wired with the subwoofer. But, in, but the, all in all, I wanted a black door card with a slight upgrade, so this is it. And because it's an all black door card, I knew that a slight ambient light would look good in it. And maybe you didn't notice it yet, but uh, that was the point, that it is only noticeable when it is turned on. So let me turn it on and show it to you. Now this is what it looks like with the ambient light turned on. And this is what the interior looks like. Now I've set the brightness to full on these because it's daytime. During the night time, the brightness is always at level 1 so that it's not too flashy. And I've set it to white because again, I don't want it to be too flashy. It just looks good. It's subtle and it looks good. The rear seats were reupholstered, the stock seats were uh, reupholstered with the black leather fabric on it and the center part is perforated to match the front seats because it has a perforated part in the middle so to match that and for the center armrest I have a Passat center armrest here the extra feature that it has is these extra cup holders at the rear which the stock Laura armrest did not have even these headrests are out of a Passat B7, the same one I got the seats out of. And as you can see the headliner, it's all black now. The rear upholstery and the headliner were done by Car Life Customs in Chandigarh. And all of this paint of the trim pieces, it was done by car surgeons in Panchkula. For the rear cabin light, I just painted it black and left the icons alone. I just didn't get the icons back on. But for the front, I did something different. As you saw earlier in the video, I customized this uh, Passat cabin light to be black and have green backlight buttons and white ambient light. This is what it looks like finally on the car. And at night, it throws a really good uh, uh, ambient lighting and it gives a really good effect. For the knob, I haven't installed it yet because I wish to make the boot myself. I just want to learn how to do it. I'm curious about it. The knob is already there. It was customized by C4 composites and it's a, it is a carbon fiber knob so i'll be doing the boot later with that i'll be doing the sun visors later as well as you can see they're not installed on the car right now uh, i wish to do that myself as well let's see how how that turns out so i'll be creating a short reel or a shot on it and upload it separately and this is what the carpet looks like which is out of a jetta mark 5 it fits really well in the car with uh, really minor modifications i was able to just install and install it in the car if you're planning to change the color of your uh, Laura's interior from beige to black, just get a Jetta Mark V carpet. It's not worth painting the stock one at all. It won't turn out good. So yeah, that is the end of this video and this is what the interior of the car finally looks like now. The next video that will follow will be about these Passat seats, uh, all the features that it has, how to wire it to your car and how to code some features into it as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you 
in the next one.